You probably know that your car has an electrical generator in it, the alternator, but you might not know that your car may not be set up to capture all of its potential energy it can make. See that 12 volt port in your car can only output about 100 watts max. So if you want to charge batteries or power stations at a faster rate, you're going to want one of these. This is the Blue Eddy DC to DC charger, and it can directly connect to your car's electrical system and provide almost six times the power output that that 12 volt car port can do. Here's how it works. So what you need to do is hook up the six gauge wires to your battery terminals, positive and negative. It comes with this protective sheath. So you run that through your car wherever you want to put it. I just have it over here for demonstration. It comes with this breaker. This is a DC breaker. You can turn it on and off or mount it. And then it goes right into the charger one. Output goes to an MC4 connection. That's what I have on here. And then it goes into the power station. And this power station is also a Blue Eddy one, but it could be any one that you want. So the Charger 1 is able to output a little under 600 watts, which is its maximum output power. With the Charger 1, the voltage output is variable. You can use the app to go all the way up to 56 volts if you want. So not only can you use it with Blue Eddy power stations, but with EcoFlow or pretty much any other brand of power station or battery, you just need to make sure that the voltage coming out of here meets the maximum voltage of your battery system. So one of the options with the Charger 1 is it's inside the cabin. You can put it on silent mode in the app, and what it'll do is lower the power output. You can see I'm down to 300 watts or so, down from about 600 so that it makes sure that the unit itself stays as quiet as possible. You can leave it like this. It's not going to drain your car battery. The Charger 1 knows when your car is running or not. When you turn off the car, it'll output for about 10 more seconds, but then it will stay at zero watts of output to protect your car's battery. I like that on the app, you can also see your alternator's voltage output, and the Charger 1 comes with a 16-foot, 6-gauge cable with the ends already crimped for install. For output, it comes with MC4 connections, or you can wire in your own. The input and output ports are the only connections into the Charger 1, and you tighten them down with a screw.